guys, welcome back to the channel for yet another chapter of Let's Play The Sims Pet Stories Midnight Masquerade. I apologize that there wasn't an episode last week. Me and my family, we went on a little vacation and I am currently having tooth issues. So if I sound a little, a little strange or like I'm not making a ton of sense with my words, um, I'm trying, I'm trying very hard for my tooth not to get agitated. Anyway, it is seven o'clock in the morning and Steven is still asleep, which is very unlikely of him but we were up pretty late last night and so even though his energy bar isn't all the way up i have to get this kid out of bed so we're gonna have him get up probably go and take a little shower just to energize him a tad and then he's gonna come into the kitchen and make himself breakfast but first we're actually gonna clean and fill diva's bowl i love that he's thinking of her before himself that actually shows a lot of growth so let me have him just have a hmm let's just do some pancakes we've been eating omelets this entire time oh <laughs> it might be nice to kind of switch it up a little bit so let's check up on diva she's playing with her mouse all night long y'all all night long she was playing with her cat trees she seems to really be enjoying it we have a newspaper here that is blending into our carpet so let me just go and recycle that when we get a moment while steven is carrying on with his morning routine i kind of wanted to give you guys a little inside scoop on something that I'm going to be bringing to the channel. Because y'all have been asking for a Sims 2 series for so long, I'm actually in the process of creating my very own Sims 2 world. And I've made a lot of progress on it, and that's also another reason why I haven't been posting videos. Anyway, I should have a video up on it, I think, this weekend. Steven went to work without feeding Diva. I'm a little worried right now. I should have had him go back and fill the bowl. Hopefully, she'll be able to hold off for just a few short hours. I mean, if we're being entirely honest he didn't eat either but naturally i'm more concerned for her because he's a grown ass man the entire time while steven was at work all he could think about is how he forgot to feed diva and how awful he feels about it because he's been pretty good about taking care of her oh i thought she was gonna run into the kitchen anyways chapter four <gasps> bring your dancing shoes gordon really seems to be the date of choice in mesa flats these days so where does that leave me i should work out sweating with veronica land grab an oldie but a goodie we'll get to to that workout in just a second but for now i'm gonna fire our maid all he does every day he comes over is just cleans the freaking fish tank and that's fine and all it's probably the cleanest fish tank in mesa flats but the whole point is that he's forgetting other tasks so thank you for your service i really appreciate it christopher but please don't come back we're gonna come over here and make our bed because these tiny little details really piss off steven as we know he's a very peculiar sim he likes things the way he simply likes them so let's come over here and we're gonna work out on the tv to miss veronica land grabs home studio workout <laughs> oh my god y'all remember like eight minute abs back in the day <laughs> He's really getting it. He's not doing a single thing that's on the screen right now, but he is really invested into getting those legs prepared for the dance floor. Oh my God, this is kind of cracking me up a little bit because he looks like he's super freaking into it. I'm actually really proud of him because I would have given up like after the second leg thrust. This workout video isn't quite cutting it. I think I'll order one of those home gyms from the internet. I should get on the computer and order an exercise machine. Oh, it must be nice just to casually have $93,000 in your bank account and be able to purchase anything and everything whenever you want it. I thought the workout was working out, but I guess it wasn't. So let's come over here and see how we order. Oh, a bench press. <laughs> okay, so maybe he's trying to do something other than cardio. He's actually trying to bulk up his muscle mass. So I get what you're doing, Steven. Maybe I should have a little more faith in you. So let's order this bench press. I'm not sure if it's going to be here in time. It just depends on how quickly the delivery guy can make it to our house. Tame your rogue lads dropping glutes and perk up your pegs this one looks good rush delivery it should be here later today i know i should be cooking but maybe i'll just see if rachel is free <gasps> invite rachel out dancing is a great workout especially with two people so if he is going to go on this big old hot date with rachel i kind of want to change his everyday wear into something a little more wait hold on a freaking second his chair does that <laughs> chair does that i had no clue that this was a freaking recliner 
That is actually pretty freaking sick. I had no idea. None at all whatsoever. He is very low on energy, so I do not know how I'm going to fix this, like, in a small amount of time. But you're looking, okay, like Bill Cosby right now. So what we're going to do is we are going to change up your appearance. I know you want a nap. I don't know how late it is, but maybe tons of coffee. I don't know another way to, like, fix it. Oh, his actual appearance. What am I doing? I'm, like, thinking this is The Sims 4. You know, I kind of want to let Steven grow out his facial hair okay just like a, not not the sideburns Jen but like his facial hair and I kind of think this looks really good on him too I love his hair as it is but I'm wondering if there's any other styles that would kind of cater to his hair texture but also give him something different right I'm not seeing anything unfortunately but I really do like this this little goatee thing he's got going on so oh we could do stubble <gasps> what you mean you can actually layer these things in The Sims 2? That is really cool. That's really cool. All right, so I'm going to go with this because I really like this facial hair look. And then we're going to plan his everyday outfit. I'm praying <laughs> this guy's got some clothes. I mean, he's got all this money. He has to have a different outfit, right? Oh, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not trying to come in hot like grease lightning, okay? I'm thinking I might go with this sweater or, oh my gosh, his outfits, y'all. Somebody help this kid. Oh my God, this really? Like, <laughs> there's no way. Um, What about something a little more, no. Okay, we'll go with this shirt. I don't have very many options here. We'll go with this shirt and we'll go with these jeans. I actually think this looks pretty nice. Full body, we have a couple outfits, a couple, oh, well, this one's kind of nice, but I think this is formal. We'll stick with this here. I actually kind of like it. I don't think it looks too bad. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rush in here and make an espresso really quick. I did want to see if there was anything in here that maybe would help with his mood. The only thing that I'm kind of seeing is the noodle soother, and I don't know what this does. So I'm probably going to leave this <laughs> in our rewards because I don't want to screw anything up. So I think the best idea right now is just to have a good old cup of gel. I'm not going to lie, though. Steven's new getup is definitely, definitely, definitely speaking to me. After he's done with his espresso, let's head over to the telephone and give Rachel a call. It doesn't specify where to go. Like, I don't know if there's like a dance hall or someplace like a nightclub or something that we could invite her out to. But I guess we'll figure that once we get onto the phone. So the energy boost was very minimal, like super duper minimal. And I'm sure he's going to pay for it later with a crash. Hopefully we'll be able to at least to complete this goal without falling asleep. So let's see where we can take Rachel. Hey, Rachel, it's Stephen Loyal from Celeste's Wedding. I'm free right now, and I was wondering if you'd like to go out. I'm with Gordon at the moment, but I'll be free later on. Meet me at Club Z in a few hours and bring your dancing shoes. Gordon, who is this guy? Oh my god, I might have screwed it up because now we have a couple hours where we could actually sleep. I think this might be a horrible idea, but I let Steven go to bed for a little bit just so we can get that energy bar up because unfortunately, the espresso isn't doing it. Oh my gosh, it's about time to go meet Rachel at Club Z. Well, never mind then. That actually ended up working out perfectly. And we have almost a half-fulfilled energy bar. I wish we had the cologne, though, because that would really help increase our chances of wooing over Rachel. And he's so excited to go to Club Z that he forgot to make his bed. But look at his pajamas, y'all. I think those are like mangoes or melons or something. All right, so we're all ready. We're all dressed. Let's head over to the telephone and call our tag. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm not kidding when I'm telling you Steven is so peculiar. I was going to have him go and call the taxi, but first he saw his bed unmade and he had to fix it. I swear he is wound up so tight. Hopefully he'll loosen up a little bit because tonight is all about having some fun. Club Z. Fancy a drink? Dancing? A nice bracing sit on long couches with people you just met? Club Z offers all of these activities for the hip, young, and laid-back sims to enjoy. <laughs> Emphasis on laid-back. Right, that is not Steven. Rachel looks really nice. I should tell her so. Rachel, you look great. Should we grab a seat near the dance floor? Sure. 
Before we head inside, of course, I want to give y'all a little lot tour. Also, it helps me get ideas on how I would like to build my lots in our new Sims 2 series. So it looks like outside there is a little seating area. Of course, there's a bar. I think there's a pool that you can actually swim in. Karaoke. If we go to the second floor, there's more bars, bathrooms, and seating places. And then downstairs, we have even more bathrooms. So there's no excuse for a Sim to have a bottom malfunction. And this appears to be be where the dance floor is so I think this is where Stephen and Rachel are going to go and have a seat I'd like to relax a little bit before hitting the dance floor I thought maybe he meant like he wanted to have a quick drink or something but I guess he means literally like sit down I mean he's still tired so I'm not gonna like bust his balls or anything over it but this is kind of cute look at them I've eaten at Julianne's enough to know that I love your cooking Stephen have you ever thought about opening up your own restaurant in SimCity? Well, Julianne gave me my start and I wouldn't want to compete with her. Besides, it costs a lot to open a restaurant. Steven, there's always money available. You just need to think big. <laughs> Let's dance. Now she's talking. She's a great dancer. I wonder. You wonder what, Steven, if she's a good kisser? Well, let's test the waters by hitting on Rachel. <laughs> that went well. I wonder if she'd like a drink. I have a feeling that Rachel is just as bad as Steven. I don't know what just happened between him and her, but I feel like he was asking Steven if it was okay for him to ask Rachel to dance, but I love how he's kind of noticing the vibe between them and he steps right up and claims his woman. Oh my gosh. Also, I kind of have the feeling that she's a little bit of a gold digger, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to come over here. We're going to order some drinks and I want to order them uh let's order them blended i have a feeling that miss rachel here is definitely a strawberry margarita girly and she seems to be impressed that we went for the more expensive option i have no idea why randall is following us like we are we are not offering to buy him a drink um but yeah all the dollar signs and then like the money emojis is making me feel like she might not necessarily be uh, attracted to steven um for the right reasons so steven have you thought about who you're going to ask to the midnight masquerade rachel what a coincidence seeing you here. Gordon, hey, have you met Steven? We've met. Rachel, I've been thinking about your proposal from the other night and I'd like to discuss it with you right away. Oh, that, uh, I guess we should. See you soon, Steven. It almost seemed like Rachel wanted me to ask her to the masquerade, but I guess you just can't compete with a guy like Gordon. What a jerk. I guess it's time to go home. I mean, you could go home or you could get that drink that you were going to grab earlier. You don't need to be a Debbie Downer, Steven, because Rachel decided to take off with Gordon. In fact, let's install a little bit of confidence into this man, get him some liquid courage, and then maybe just maybe I'll come over here and talk to Renee since she has been wanting to chat with us this entire freaking time. Hi, my name's Steven Loyal. What's your name? <laughs> my name's Renee. How are you? I'm doing good. Nice to meet you. Wait a second. You're right. Hey, I have seen you at Julianne's before. You're Stephen Loyal, the big honcho chef. <laughs> She's really stroking my ego right now, y'all, but I kind of like her a little bit. So I'm going to check her out. I'm going to talk to her a little bit. I'm also going to tell her a quick little joke and maybe we'll give her a friendly hug. I mean, at the end of the day, if Rachel doesn't become our date to the Midnight Masquerade, not gonna lie, Steven is a little tempted to ask Renee. She actually seems like the first woman that's kind of into him. Although there is literally zero to no attraction between them, or at least he isn't attracted to her. So even though she looks like she wants to continue on the conversation, I think this is kind of where we're gonna end it. Um, we tried <laughs> to be open. It just seems like she just wasn't really our bag. So we're gonna call the taxi. We're gonna head home. I wonder what it is that he's like attracted to. Maybe we could see his turn ons and turn offs somehow okay so his turn ons are red hair and black hair his turn offs are blonde hair that makes sense as to why he wasn't into renee 
I get it now. <laughs> I totally get it. Rachel and I seem to be hitting it off. Unfortunately, so do Rachel and Gordon. At least Diva seems to be happier. I really should get started on the food for the masquerade soon. I don't want to let everyone down. Delivery for Mr. Loyal. Steven's feeling a little generous tonight, so he's going to tip the delivery driver 25 whopping simoleons since he keeps coming to make deliveries every freaking day, it seems. So I think our brand new piece of equipment is right here. It is called the Muscle Mac bench press by rip tech i don't know where the hell we're gonna put this i'm thinking probably outside somewhere since i don't really have a ton of room is it me or is it like ever since we've been starting to play with steven's life he's been having just like a bunch of things coming to the house like he's buying stuff 24 freaking 7 i think he might also have a slight shopping addiction too but look at this thing it looks like futuristic almost it's kind of it's kind of crazy um so i need steven to come over here he did want to take a shower to get like the club stench off his skin but i kind of wanted him to clean up a little bit and also spend a moment or two with diva oh y'all she still sleeps next to us never mind we won't wake her up it is six o'clock in the morning six o'clock in the freaking morning i guess we might as well just have steven start getting ready for work because he actually has to be at work in about three hours or so <sighs> as tempting as that is i am going to have him come and lay down for at least a couple hours so he can get the z's that he needs also, it looks like there's some skills and things that we need to be working on, but haven't been doing so because we've been so freaking girl crazy. I feel like I'm really behind here, but hopefully these next few hours of sleep will do the trick. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun it does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Under the palm trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun I don't remember much